Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have already published 75 YouTube videos covering beginners level, intermediate level and advanced level concepts of Tricentis Tosca. From few videos onwards, I have started teaching you the real-time scenarios where you might encounter different types of obstacles while automating the test cases and how can we solve those obstacles by using Tricentis Stoska. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you. This is our lesson 76 in terms of overall Tricentis Tosca automation tutorial and this is obstacle 34 in terms of real-time scenarios. So in this lesson, I am going to teach you how can we solve an obstacle where you need to store the baseline table which will have n number of rows and n number of columns and then you need to compare this stored baseline table content with the same table but the content has been changed. So now how can I identify what kind of content and what content in which row and which column the content has been changed in the table. So that I am going to do by using table baseline comparison. So now let us go and see in detail what is the obstacle that we are going to solve for. So here is the obstacle list that we keep working from past few videos onwards and today's obstacle is find the changed cell. This is the name of your obstacle and which is categorized as medium. Let us go for it to see the details of obstacle. What it is saying? Click show changed table to change the value of one random cell. Find the cell and enter the row, column, original value and changed value into the text boxes showing here. Use Tosca to find this cell. So values can be entered manually. There is no need to automate this step. So what it is saying here, if you see this is your original table which has n number of columns and then n number of rows. If I click on show change table, so this is the same table but the content has been changed. What content that has been changed? Randomly some specific cell content will be changed. If I click on show original table, there is one cell which has a different value compared to the original table and change table. So now you need to identify what is the cell that has changed from these n number of cells. As soon as I show change table, so this is the table where one cell value has been changed. We don't know what cell value has been changed. It is very difficult to find with your human eye. So we can use Tricentis Tosca to compare the tables between original table and change table. So for that, let us go to Tricentis Tosca and let us start scanning the objects. So what are the objects that we need to scan in this case? In this case, you just need to scan your table. So here, right click on obstacles folder, select scan, application, Now select the application that you would like to scan and click on scan button. So now what is the table that we need to cap? What is the table that we need to capture? So this is the table that we need to capture. Select the table and do I need to capture 
all these edit boxes so these you need not to capture as soon as you identify which row which column and what is your original value and what is your changed value in the cell you can just enter this manually so that's why i just need this table and then we'll change the module name with the obstacle name here copy this and then paste the obstacle name here and now save your module then close your x scan let us go back to tricentis tasca and come down to bottom so this is the new obstacle that we captured double click on this obstacle to make sure the objects are available so i can see here now table row column i can see the table is available now let us go back to our obstacle test case folder left side right click on this obstacle folder and create test case and then here we already copied the obstacle name i'm going to paste the same obstacle name and then double click on test case now let us start automating to automate the test case you need to drag this table and then drop on to your obstacle and now let us expand this one so to perform table comparison what we need to do first you need to capture the baseline table how can i capture the baseline table so let's again go to original table let me click on try again first i need to capture the original table this is my original table right and this original table is my baseline table what i am going to do here to capture the baseline table right click on this table and then select create baseline as soon as you select create baseline it's going to start capturing this entire table content all rows all columns you can see it captured 10% of your table so it is basically capturing the entire content of this particular original table it takes couple of seconds to complete capturing the entire table rows columns and the content so now you can see here table baseline successfully created click on okay so if you go back here and expand this see now it says table compare it says the baseline has been created at 15th march 824 sorry 15th march 10 8 pm so that means now to compare the table let's go back to the application as we captured the baseline table now i am going to click on show changed table so now this is the changed table where one of the cell value has been changed so how can i identify which cell has been changed now let's go back to tricentis tasca you need to run this test case again why once it creates the baseline now it is marked as table compare so that means whenever you run this test case it's going to compare the existing display table with the baseline table that we captured at this time stamp so let me right click and run in scratch book so now it started comparing the original table with the changed table so your test case is going to fail because when it compares both the tables it's going to identify that one of the cell is not matching if you see here it says column this in row 23 was modified what is the expected value this is your original value and this is your actual value so let's copy this entire thing into a notepad let's 
paste it here so what is the row row number is 23 let's go back to our obstacle so here i'm going to enter 23 and what is the column that has changed this is the column right so basically these are the column headers somewhere we have that column here okay this is the column and what is your original value this is your expected value that means the baseline table has this value in the cell then what is the changed value the changed table has this value in the cell now if i submit this should be able to solve the problem successfully as soon as you submit it should say your automation problem solved successfully but however it is not working right now but that is how you can solve the obstacle to compare the tables with your baseline and the change table so if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i will try to respond to your queries thank you hope you all understand how to solve an obstacle where you need to store the baseline table and then compare the baseline table content with the changed table content please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you will receive notifications whenever i publish more videos don't forget to like and share the video thank you